Falco spaces amazingly. So you'll notice that players who are really good at punishing have difficulty punishing uh, punching Larry. But that's why he's a Falco that'll take games off Fly Manita. He'll 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 beat Ken. He'll beat those characters that don't have a super strong neutral game, but an extremely strong punish game. And so because of that, like he's, he has this, I wouldn't say slower, but it's a, a more it's a more careful Falco. Yeah. And so he, he's just he doesn't make too many mistakes. And then you have to just beat his Falco like. In the, neutral. in the neutral game, which Falco's a tough character to beat in the neutral game. All right. And I, I would associate Pew Pew with being a very uh, punish-heavy person. Like, he has these amazing strengths where he carries your character across Absolutely. the stage. So it's definitely an interesting matchup that I've, I've been dying to see all day. So they settle on Battlefield. Not too many elk there was the first laser. <laughs> Commentators curse the video before it even happens. Nice. What kind of oh, when you were playing QP yesterday? What, what were some of the mix-ups that he was tossing out when, uh, when he was playing you? Like what, what what should we expect from him? Um, well, I don't because I, I was playing Ice Climb, which is a very very different character than Falco. But for me, the biggest thing is. Uh, his space forward air. So he just space back with the forward air, and then just kind of dash in and out of my range, and either you know try to bait a grab, try to bait you know, something out of my shield, and I just wouldn't know what to do because Ice Climber's out of shield game. You just wave dash grab, you wave dash forward to you wave dash smash, and he just kept like, you know, that perfect range to keep pressure on me without actually doing much. And interesting, just as you say, like wave dash grab, Larry just did it right out of a punish, like he just wave dash grab. Larry actually doing pretty well right now. Definitely. I oh, mean, and a little bit of a technical error for you there. I think he was expecting to up B and tech right away, but he pressed up B too fast and then just air dodges at the tech. Larry takes a very safe option to go into the top platform there, but uh, if you catch the center. Oh, it's a really good shorten, but a little bit too short. Great grab. Awesome. Well, it's a really, really interesting punish because you notice Larry's been doing these down airs and landing behind PB a lot. A lot. And so PB hasn't been able to have too much of a grab yet. Exactly, but he's, right there. He's <laughs> improvised and he's doing this, this down air at his shield. We'll see if uh, Larry can come up with a response to that. Timing on this jab, and Larry was able to get back on. We'll see what he does now. Great angle from Larry. Not quite enough. Another edge guard opportunity. Oh, Larry very safe approach. Platform. Very smart. Yeah, I mean, it looks like QP has a very strong percentage advantage, but like it's still a very high percent, one strong hit, either or. And with him doing so well during the crew battle, I mean, I'm kind of happy that Larry's uh, so cal biased. I'm kind of happy that Larry is actually <laughs> going toe-to-toe. He's, toe -to -toe. he's staying toe-to-toe, -to -toe. he's staying right in it. Nice. Smart light shield, Edgehog. Go for the guaranteed stuff. I'm, I'm glad, you know, because uh, Larry also, more often than not, will take what's guaranteed. He won't try to do something that's too flashy. Some minor flashiness right there with a the double time, but... Ooh, it's close. Covering the entire platform oh just man. a single up there. Rough situation, just kind of. It's, it's, it's that time in the game where you're just trying to get away. Yeah. And you just sort of panic and you do things you wouldn't normally do because you're so scared of getting hit again. Like, I just need to get away from him. And I feel like those situations where characters like Ganondorf like, just really excel, where if someone's playing, like you're playing to their fear, you can really get them a strong punish. Nice. Nice down air, see if he gets it. Oh. oh. Stalled a little bit, getting the ledge and up. Messing up those shortens again. Alright, this is the grab. See if Larry gets the edge guard. Nice. He does. So one stock to one stock. First match. Looking fairly close so far. Oh 
Wow. Jeez, these power two, they have two power in a row. <laughs> Interrupting oh the goodness. entire sword stance with one down air. Oh, good read from Larry. String the combos. Oh! <gasps> oh, that's the pressure! pressure. PVs against the ropes! Oh, sm such a smart point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unpunishable. <gasps> no, oh, the no! Finally gets it! No! Yeah, no! Just, oh. oh! All that momentum gone with one mess up. Oh, one man. mistake's all it takes. That was a great oh, jab from you, just yeah. keeping it dead simple, didn't have to do anything else, but wow. Larry. <laughs> that those those last couple strings at the very end were very, very intense. Back to battlefield. I mean, I, I don't blame Larry for this. Like, he, he was looking pretty good that entire set. Um, most of his deaths, he, he had that just mistake at the end. Um, the and then his, his, uh, his other two were just messed up illusions. Which, unfortunately, he didn't make a short in there. Yeah, it might be in his head right now that he, you know, just lost the last match, and then he's, like, thinking, well, it might be affecting his plays now. Some strong reads from QP right now. Uh-oh. QP has very, very strong momentum. And this is a rough situation. You, you get 30 seconds into a game, you're down by two stocks. Like, all you, all you can think of is, I need to take stocks fast. And that changes your gameplay. And I know for Larry, like, his gameplay is so calculated. And it's going to be really difficult to, to keep that, you know, defensive, spacing, very smart type ball that you're down by this much. Oh. It's looking like a four star. It is looking, it is looking like a, oh man. Don't want to say it. <laughs> I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that to Larry. <laughs> but it, it is looking like a four stock. Grabs. Oh, good shine. Great. We convert off the shine. Again, I'm really appreciating like PPU's excellent up air coverage on the platforms. Uh, it really it cuts off so many options because he's, he's protected by the platform and then he's throwing out offense, so you can't just come down on him. Oh, nice. Don't do it! <gasps> okay. Oh, Might have agreed, but he can do it. Okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Sorry for the extreme bias, but we all love Larry. Oh, wait, it's nice. And there it is. Tip her off Quick the match. A minute 40 seconds. Good game, guys. You're showing why he's one of the most dominant players in NorCal. Uh, yeah. Great showing by NorCal, by the way. Yeah, no, NorCal's they've <laughs> they've been uh they've been carrying their weight here. Actually, speaking.